Hello everybody, this is Corbin from Zoco Marketing. Today we're gonna to be going over how to import your Google Ads campaigns into Microsoft Ads, otherwise known as, or formerly known as Bing Ads. So just a few months ago, um, Bing rebranded and is now Microsoft Ads. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to import your campaigns, your Google campaigns into Microsoft Ads. Now, a couple of things before we begin. You can only import display campaigns and search campaigns. You obviously cannot um, import video campaigns because those are YouTube um, campaigns. So, and Bing doesn't really have a video network like that. So just keep that in mind. First things first, if you don't have an account, you can go over here to um, just Google Microsoft Ads sign up. You can go through the sign up process. When you do start, I'm gonna jump through, I'm gonna cut here in a second and show you what you see when you first begin. They walk you through a smart mode. Uh, what they call smart mode. Um, they're kind of copying Google in that sense where they, they kind of hold your hand through walking through this campaign. But what you wanna do is, is get to expert mode as soon as you can. And I'll show you how to do that. Right now I'm gonna cut through and show you how to switch over to expert mode so that you can actually import your campaigns into um, being as in the smart mode that they have, there isn't an option to import those campaigns. But real quick, here's what you see when you first create a new Microsoft Ads account. If you already have an account, you can skip ahead about a minute and it'll get right into the expert mode. But you have to go through and you create a, a your first campaign inside of Bing before you can switch over to the expert mode. So here I am just going through the motions. They have most stuff kind of pre-filled out. Um, I just went through and uh, filled out basic information to get a, a dummy campaign essentially set up. And then once that campaign was set up, you'll see here in a minute how I switched over to expert mode. So just go through this. Give your campaign budget the least amount it will let you do. As you see here, I think I give it, yeah, I just do like a $4 budget. Um, after the campaign goes live, I just make sure it's paused right after. You will need to put in your credit card information. So I'm gonna cut here for a second just so I can go through and put in my uh, credit card information. So once you've finished those steps, you'll notice in the top right hand corner, now you have this little bar that says tools. Click switch to expert mode and that's where you wanna be. That's gonna give you more um, autonomy to be able to customize your campaigns and set them up the right way. So we switch to expert mode and that's how you can begin importing your Google campaigns into Bing. All right, we are now in the expert mode of uh, Microsoft Ads. How you know that you're in expert mode is up at the top, you can see there's lots more options here. If you click down tools, you won't see anything that switch. It says over here, switch to expert mode. Um, this is where you wanna be because this is where you have the most control over your campaigns and you're not just letting uh, Microsoft place your ads wherever they feel um, is best for your business, but you actually have the control there. So we're going to jump in on how to actually import your Google campaigns. Uh, it is a pretty straightforward process. Um, it's kind of a pain to get to this point. If you have an existing account um, and you've had it for a while, this is probably the view that you will see. They're always updating this interface, but um, more or less it's going to be the same. So we're going to come up here to import and we are going to import from Google ads. And in order for this import to work, you obviously do need to be um, uh, registered. You need to have access to both accounts, um, both the Google and uh, Microsoft Ads account. So just be aware of that. And it needs to be under your same Google um, email. So I'm gonna sign in here. And I'm going to allow And once that is connected to your Gmail account, I'm gonna hit continue. I'm going to grab the account that we're gonna be working with today. Uh, so select the account that you want to pull um, the Google Ads campaigns from and we're gonna hit continue. Now at this option right here, uh, this is important. Uh, if you want to import all of your existing campaigns and new campaigns, just essentially export or import everything, you can select this option. Or if you only wanna select specific campaigns and ad groups, you can select this one. So if I hit here, it will come down. Uh, this is just a demo account, so I only have the one campaign. But if you had multiple, you could go through and, and click and actually um, choose the ones that you want to. This is helpful if you have a big Google Ads campaign and have lots of paused ones that are no longer working or you know that you don't ever really want in your Bing account. Um, then I would go through and import specific campaigns. That way, uh, it just keeps your Bing account more clean. Um, for this though, we're just gonna import everything because that's I only have the one campaign in there, so we're gonna hit continue. 
And inside of here, we have a lot of different options and I'll go through all of these, as you can see, all these different check marks and things. Um, account level URL options. This is if you have account level um, UTM tags or URLs that you wanted to append. As you see right now, I don't have any available, but if you wanted to check that, you could. Um, and as we, I go through there, these, there are more information about all these as you click this little um, question mark, but I'm gonna go through all of them with you right now, but if you want more information, you click those. Um, uh, items not previously imported into Microsoft. So you're gonna wanna click on this and show advanced. So if you, for whatever reason, didn't want to import any of this information, um, which in most cases you probably want to, um, but you could go through, say you didn't want to, you wanted to start new labels for whatever reason, you could uncheck this or product filters or negative sites. Uh, you could go through and uncheck those options. I recommend keeping all of these checked though, just so that it gets your campaigns exactly how um, you had them in Google ads. But if for whatever reason you want to do that, you could. Um, so I'm going to close that. Um, update existing items. So I'm going to click down. This is if you have, uh, if you're doing it the import for the second time or third time, or if you have it on recurring and you didn't want the uh, import to update any of these different things, uh, say your campaign name, say that you have specific campaign names for Bing or whatever, you might want to um, uncheck these or the labels that you have. Um, this is for if you're updating the campaigns regularly. I'm going to leave all those checked though in this option. Um, let's see, delete items that have been removed from your Google Ads account. Uh, you could do that. I'm going to keep this unchecked. I don't want to, anything to be deleted or removed um, from the Google Ad account. Um, UET tag. So if you don't know, UET tag is Google or is Microsoft's um, conversion tag. It's the tag that goes on every page of your website and it tracks when you get a lead or a sale or whatever that may be. Um, in this case, I'm going to have a separate video um, and I'll link it up below or down in the description on how to create a U UET tag. Um, this is a brand new account, so I don't have it created yet. But so we're just going to do um, select a tag and we'll do that later. I'll go through and create the account and select that later. Um, but if you wanted to create one, you could do that here with create a tag. Next is bids, bids and budgets. So this is in court important. So this is at the keyword level and then we have one down here for the campaign level. Um, I do check increased keywords, ad groups and um, targets to the minimum. So I do leave that checked just to make sure that the campaigns are at the, the minimum level. But then I also do check this customized bids. And typically for Bing, my default, this can vary for people, but I, I've for my clicks, typically what I've noticed is that I bid 50% less inside of Bing. So that's what I start out with. If as the campaigns start running, I notice that I'm not getting enough clicks or maybe I'm spending a little bit more than I want to, then I'll go back and do this later. But typically Google clicks are more expensive than Bing clicks. So I customize my bids and I just decrease them all by 50% right off the bat. You don't have to do that. That's just something that I have always done. Um, update bids. This is again for if you are managing your campaigns in Google and you just want it to um, change while you're inside of Bing. I leave this unchecked because I want my bids to be separate in Google than they are inside of uh, being in Microsoft. Um, same thing with this, you can update the strategies. Uh, these are like the bidding strategies that you have. Um, you can leave this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uncheck that as well because the bidding strategies that I use in Bing typically aren't the ones I use in Google. Uh, and then increase campaign budgets for minimum. This is, so this is the, the campaign level. I you know these kind of, it seemed like the same thing, but this is at the keyword level. This is at the campaign level. Once again, I'm gonna leave that checked, but then I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna decrease by 50%. Um, update existing campaign budgets, we'll leave that unchecked and increase product groups, bids for minimum. Uh, this is going to keep that checked. Um, next options we have here is uh, landing page URL. So if you wanted to insert a UTM at the end of uh, all of your campaigns, you could do that right here. Um, you can find and replace text in each of the final URLs. So if you wanted to send Bing traffic um, to a different landing page than Google traffic, you could do that here easily by changing out that. Um, URL or find and replace, you know, with Google with Bing, whatever it may be. Um, you have lots of different options for tracking templates and then campaign options. Um, uh, let's see, I'm just trying to go through and make sure if there's any here that are important for you. Do not uh, update existing campaign names. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave, I don't want them to update cam existing campaign names. Pause newly import. Oh, so this is one that I always, pretty much always do. Um, I do pause newly imported campaigns. It just gives me a second to um, go through and double check all the settings inside of Bing before it starts running. If you have a massive account, this might be super helpful for you um, to go, you know, if you have 10, 20 different campaigns, uh, just to make sure they're paused and you can go through and make sure all the settings are correct. If you only have one or two, it's maybe not that big of a deal, but I typically leave this, 
I have them paused when they're imported so I can double check all the settings. Uh, include pause campaigns when importing new items. Um, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to check that because the one campaign I'm importing is paused right now. Uh, import search and uh, dynamic search ad mix campaigns as search campaigns. Uh, I I um, leave this unchecked. I don't want my dynamic search ads to show up in Bing because Bing does not support dynamic search ads. So I want to I want to keep those out of there because uh, they don't have the smart algorithm to be able to work those di di dynamic search ads the same way Google does. So I'm gonna leave that unchecked. Um, you can insert a name at the end of each of your campaigns. You can find and replace text for a campaign name, and then uh, same options for ads. You can pause. You can make it so that you're not uh, importing paused ads. And whew, sorry, there's a lot of talking here. For this, uh, what this is saying is that for whatever reason, a location is not found in Bing's or Microsoft's uh, network, they will um, they will find a supported location for that. I wouldn't worry too much about this. Um, these two settings, uh, I would just leave them unchecked for this. And then once again, merchant store for e-commerce things. Uh, if you have an e-commerce store, this is where you can uh, check those options. This uh, this example is mostly for B two B or lead gen um, activity. So now that we have that all done, there I know there's a lot of settings in there. It can kind of be intimidating, but uh, those are all the settings that you kind of need to know. We're going to hit continue. Oh, and it, so this is, uh, we do need to create a tag or select a tag here. So I'm going to create one real quick. I'm going to call this demo, demo tag. And so this is a demo tag. Okay. So that's just creating the name of the tag. Later, we can go through and add the actual code on our website. So now we're going to hit continue. Okay. Now this is important as well. This is your scheduled imports. Um, when I first do this, I typically only do it uh, once. So now or now or once. Um, oops. Uh, that's because I after I import these, I want to make sure that everything's looking good, everything's looking okay. If you um, after you've checked all those different things, then you can come back to this setting and do it weekly, daily, monthly. Um, what this is going to do is if you're making adjustments in Google, it's going to make those same adjustment, adjustments in Bing. It's essentially a way to clone yourself um, in a way. Um, but I, I typically do this once when I'm starting off, make sure the settings are correct, and then go back and change that. Um, display time, 12 hours, 24 hours. You can do your time zone here, so make sure this is correct. Arizona, and then import name. Uh, I typically like to name it, you know, you can name these whatever it may be. This is just going to be first import me. And then I like to email myself if there are changes or errors and then have my email here and we can, I'm going to have this run now. So I'm going to actually switch this. So now that you saw those settings, I'm going to switch this to now just so it runs for me. I'm going to import that. And this can take a second, so I will cut back to when we actually have the campaigns imported. All right, we are back. So this is what you will see after those campaigns have been um, imported. It will tell you exactly what has been uh, imported. So as you see, I have one campaign that's been updated, ad groups, keywords. Um, you can go through and see everything that's been uh, imported into there. And you can then now go through and say, okay, let's view the imported campaigns. And it's just going to take you into Bing. Um, and this is where you can go through and check the settings. So right now I have just 50 cents a day. If you wanted to go through and adjust those settings, I, typically when I import these campaigns, I go through the budgets. I make sure those are okay. I'll click through the ad group um, and make sure that the ad group or the, the keyword targeting is good. I'll look at the uh, locations to make sure that where my targeting is um, set is looking good. Um, and it's in the right location. These are things that I just double check and make sure. And uh, the last thing that you'll want to do as well is go into settings and look at your bidding strategy uh, and make sure that you have a bidding strategy that you are comfortable with inside of Bing. I'm not going to get into bidding strategies for this. Uh, let's hide this so you can see it. So I'm not going to get into bidding strategies uh, for Bing. I was being really slow. But you'll want to make sure and, and, and choose the bidding strategy that you're comfortable with in this situation. Typically for me, I go with enhanced uh, right off the bat when I'm just starting off a new campaign in here. 
or max uh, conversions. So, uh, but that is everything uh, you really need to know about importing campaigns inside of Google or inside of Bing, importing Google campaigns into Bing or Microsoft ads. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Uh, if you are curious on how to set up the UET tag, I will have a video on that coming out soon um, and I'll link it up below and we will see you next time.